What's going on, everybody? This is going to be episode two of the Dynasty with the LSU Tigers. Let's get going. Let's get it. Hi everybody, I'm Brad Nessler along with Dick Vitale. Welcome to the second round of the NIT. Let's see how this game unfolds between the Miami Hurricanes and the LSU Tigers. And of course, here's our starting lineup. As long as these two point guards are on the court, the ball is gonna be in good hands, Brad. Receives the pass. Goes up. Can't connect. For the bucket. That's good. Takes it strong to the hoop. He knows how to use his strength, Brad. That's such an important skill. You've got to know how to use it without being pulled for the foul. He puts up the runner. The shot's off target. It sticks. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to go inside. He makes the block. Oh, wow. What a stop. Looking around the perimeter. He looks for three. The missed shot. Appreciate you guys checking out the channel. The dribble gives it up. Feel free to smash that like button. Murray comes up with it. Our trifecta for right, the night. This guy's supposed to be one of our best players. Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Thinks about the shot. Gave it up. From the corner, he got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. They work the perimeter. In the lane, nails a sweet jumper. They go into the low block. Uncharacteristic oh, mistake by the senior. Tries to get around the trap, but he can't do it. Well done. Great trap. Ball's going to stay here. Let's check out this three-pointer one more time, Dick. Inbound on the near sideline. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. On the right side, he puts up the three ball. When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a little bit easier, wouldn't you say, Dick? Hey, when scorer is able to read and react to pressure like this, oh, come on. start showing up in the defense. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. For two, tickles a twine. Look at that spacing. Jumper. Nope. Tears it away. Fill the lane. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. With oh, the jumper. Oh. Knocked it down. Oh, 
Looking for a good shot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, it's quite obvious that the coaching staff wants their team to slow down the tempo. I can hear him on the sideline talking to bench players about being patient and running set. He wants the defense to break down first before settling for a shot. Unless, of course, it's a layup. Guys? Thanks, EA, our third member of our team, providing that initial insight. They have one of the toughest things to get in sports. Experience. Experience is so important, Brad. See situations right, and know how to react to them correctly. And quickly is a great, great thing. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. He takes it away. Now in transition. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Oh. And come up short. Number 23 gets the ball. Oh. Oh. There's a slam. Now. A great drive to the hoop right there, Dick. Well, he spotted an opening, and he just absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. Into their zone motion now. They'll work it around the arc. He tries the three ball. Off the mark. Tries for two. Sinks it. The Tigers did a great job of going through the high post on that play. They got into one of the most valuable parts of the court, Mr. Nessler. The high post is a goal line if you can make the right decisions with the ball. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. On the wing. He shoots from the deep corner. Scorches the net with a J. On the dribble, gives it up. The man can't escape. Well done. Great trap. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Brad. Miller picks up the foul. Third team foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the oh, easy come basket. On now. First one is no good. Seven minutes remaining in the game clock. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Now looking to create with a ball screen. Hey, the pitch and roll is one play that so many teams use these days. A great way to buy a step for the dribbler. Goes up, locks the shot. On the outside. Puts up the jumper. Missed the jumper. Oh. And we got a whistle and a foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. A couple of free ones. It's that one. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. That's right. Got them both. Oh, he Working hard in practice. Under the nylon, NBA. Double team now, bad angle. Both teams looking to get things going here. For the bucket, nice shot. Didn't look like anything was going to keep him from the basket there, Dick. You know, he did a great job putting the ball on the floor and getting to the basket. Number 21 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Both free throws go. They are nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. About six minutes remaining on the game clock. Trying to feed in, and it's blocked. 
Miller is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Brad, he's at what many people call a fun. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. For two, he drains the bucket. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots the jumper. Excellent jump shot right there. Ball didn't even seem like it touched the floor there. Hey, when each player on offense touches the ball in the perimeter, it forces the defense to move. Eventually, the defense will break down. With a deep shot from outside. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. And has it rejected. Oh. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Perfectly executed. We're at the five-minute mark. Time out. Time out on the floor. ESPN's coverage of the NCAA will continue after this. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Too much. That's a foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. He makes it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Yes, two with the charity strike. Working it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. They get it to go. From three-point range. Missed it. Tries for two. He gets the bucket to fall. Down inside. He tries the jumper. He knocks down the jumper. Inside. About four minutes remaining. Way out on top, controlling the ball from the corner. They got it. The oh. Tigers are getting some great opportunities to score when they get the ball in the high post. They got the ball into the high post, and the defense couldn't react on time, Brad. He unloads a three. Can't connect. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet pass. apart. That one finds its way out of bounds, but we'll keep it right here. It's a team effort across the board so far today, Dick. I tell you, it's been great to watch these kids really work with one another out there. They all have individual skills to put the ball in the hoop, but that isn't always what's best for a team. Everyone needs to get touches so they can feel involved. Wong receives the ball. Goes up for two. He drains it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There's a nice high pick with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move for the basket. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits some foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Yeah, definitely keeping us in the game today. The ball stripped. Now looking to attack. Alley oop. Oh, come on. For the bucket. Nope. Number 13 pulls down the offensive rebound. Nope. For two. Off the glass and no good. Dick, they're giving this offense absolutely no good shots. Because they're keeping their feet moving and their hands waving, Brad. 
Tries for two. He misses it. The point guard with the ball. He shoots from outside and come up short. Wong handles the feed. Trying to pack it inside from the corner. And he missed. Defender right up on the ball. The Hurricanes can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls. What? Shot this trip. Goes up with it. Nails a sweet jumper. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Sinks the shot. Side for the bucket, he gets it to fall. He puts up the tray off the glass and no good. Gave it up. Great trap, they managed to keep the defender in check. What a great defensive trap there! Nails the J. Side. He bombs from outside. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you oh, that. That sorry. baby was ugly. Joseph handles the feed. For two. He gets it to go. Oh. Didn't look like anything was going to keep him from the basket there, Dick. I'll tell you, he's really attacking the goal. He's going in fearless, and he's absolutely attacking the defense. At the end of the first half, the Tigers are trailing by two. LSU heads into the locker room after just a horrible half of shooting from the field. I mean, you're being kind. I don't even consider that shooting. I call that throwing up bricks, man, in France and hoping they would fall. Terrible yeah. shooting by this ball club. I cannot believe it. You can't win shooting like that. It's all right. Uh, Number 21 is whistled for the foul. First team foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of bluff. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He doesn't miss that opportunity either. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Uh, I lost it. Tries for two. It's good. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up with a shot. The missed shot. Number one takes the feed. They set up offensively now. They're working around the perimeter. A three off the mark. Moore receives the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Drains it. Oh, shit, man. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. And the slam. Strong with a ball and strong with a finish. Well, those aggressive moves to the basket are what this offense is all about. 
now trying to feed the low block. He goes up with it. He buries the jumper. They work it around the perimeter. He puts up the J. Nails the jumper. For the bucket. He nails the bucket. They work the perimeter. Takes his jumper. They got it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots. Can't get the shot to go. Wong receives the ball. Blocked. The Tigers in transition. Kicks it out. He goes for three. Knocks it down. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. On the right side. He rejects it. Get that mess out of here, boy. Well, that's basic. <laughs> and the ball is saved. Great job. The freshman commits a turnover. Gave it up. All right. Robs him of the ball. The man asking for a screen here. Hey, whether it ends up in a roll or fade, it's well executed two man game. It's always a treat to watch. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. You know, Dick, this guy's really elevated his game today. I tell you, Brad, he's been awesome, baby. He's a PT player. I tell you, what a great performance. For a good shot. Eight minutes left in the game clock on the wing. I think that's his fourth foul, and he's going to have to sit for a while. No, Brad. Coach has got to be a bit concerned here. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Tries for two. Comes up empty. All right, let's wire him down. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. such a thing as a good foul. That was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him for the easy basket. Makes the first shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. And he got them both. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Coach calls a timeout. We'll be back with more in a moment. Time out, we're all set to pick things up. Fires away, busts the jumper. No, we can't do your man shit. Cross court. Turnover committed by the senior. Number 13 receives the ball, goes up for two, scorches the net. These boys aren't hungry enough on D, Brad. They are getting torched out there. On the baseline, 
He shoots from the baseline. Bust the J. For the bucket. Off the glass and no good. Great defensive clinic put on by this young man tonight, Dick. You betcha. He's giving the offense the blues. Sets the screen for his teammate. And we've got a change in possession here. Let's take another look at our star watch. This one's coming in from the baseline. He launches a three. Missed it. They'll work it around the arc. Turnover by the senior. For two. Off the glass and no good. Can't put it down. Goes. Terry look from three-point land. He uses the shot fake. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. The Hurricanes now looking for a basket in transition. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Goes up for two. He comes up empty. On the left side. Attempts the trifecta. Missed the oh. jumper. He tries the three. Scores wow. it. We're at the five-minute mark. Here comes a pick. Hey, ball screens are such an important part of the game these days. Guys are so creative when it comes to... Blocked. Nice job defensively. He gets that one to fall. Shoots from the corner. The missed shot. The Hurricanes have no choice but to continue their up-tempo style of play and try to eat into this deficit, Dick. They'll have to be at their best in order to get back to this game, Brad. They may be equipped to play the tempo needed to win the game, but can they do it? On the outside. Jumped in front to take it away. They have to start making some crisper passes, Dick. Yeah, these guys are going after everything, Brad. Four minutes left on the game clock. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He tries to knock down the three. Can't get the shot to drop. Wilkinson handles the feed. Moving it around the perimeter. Swatted away. Oh, he manages to keep it in play. Nice. Get that ball movement, get that good awesome. spacing. Now with 10 to shoot. He wants a three. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Working it around the perimeter. About three minutes remaining on the game clock. Up and inside. He attempts the three. Nope. I like the idea of having a class cleaner on your team. Someone who can get those rebounds. He blocks the shot on the left side. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Rims out. The small forward with the ball. 
goes up. We're at the two-minute mark. He misses the jumper. Number one takes the feed. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Great shot. Scorches the net. That's a great drive to the basket. Well, he spotted an opening, and he just absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He pulls up with a jumper. Off the glass. On the dribble, gives it up. One minute left to go. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, did he? Let's take another look at this dunk. Hey, up, 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 away, Mr. Nestle. That's how you go strong to the basket. set to throw it in from the side. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, Dick, here's a player in just his freshman year. Hey, being a student in college is quite an experience. But being a student athlete is something on a whole other level. There are a lot of challenges you have to meet if you want to keep your balance and be successful. Takes the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. And they burn a timeout here. We'll have more NCAA coverage coming up in a moment. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. On the left side, they've got a player spotting up on the three. And he misses the shot. Everyone on this squad is pretty solid from the free throw line. Their team free throw percentage is pretty good. Hey, uh, that means that they're doing a good job of practicing free throws. Second shot, good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He shoots from a deep corner. Off the mark. And the ball out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. trip to the free throw line. Misses his first shot. He hits it. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. All right, another win. Two and zero to start the season. Let's see who we got next. South Carolina Trojans. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button for me. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next time I go live or post new content. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Till next time, peace out.